Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVPNet video series on binary search or binary tree interview question series and this video is about traversing your binary tree either pre, in or post order. I have already given the videos, sorry, this video I am going to keep in the beginning of this series but I am shooting this after so many videos because I forgot <laughs> and suddenly I remember that there is no separate video where I talk about this pre, in and post order traversal of a binary tree or binary search tree. So let's have it. And we'll see what is the reason behind using one or another one, how you will understand like for what you should go at what time, okay? So this is going to be interesting, just stay tuned. So as I said, we have this pre, in and post order traversal. So let's talk about the pre. So if I quickly show you the code here, see, we have this function traverse and we will pass root in that and see it is very simple code, just three line code which will actually enable you to traverse recursively on binary tree or binary search tree. And now this is in order traversal because see this is the operation what you want to perform. This is called in order just because the operation what you are performing, the main operation of this whole function is to traverse, right? To just get the values printed or do any sort of thing when you are traversing. So you have some task in your hand and you want to perform that while you are traversing the tree exactly then you have three ways either you can choose pre-order in order or post order now what you will use that depends so why i'm telling you this is in order because this is in between these two calls this is left and this is right so this says i mean this particular line you can swap these left and right uh, call but still it would be in order call okay so this is in order because it is in between these two calls and in order tells, now listen carefully, in order tells if there is any given node, let's say this one and if you are using in order, sorry yeah I am talking about in order not the pre-order okay. So in order meaning you are saying that I will do some sort of operation to this node once all the left hand side's nodes are already processed. So Let's suppose you have task 1 and you want to perform this T1 to each and every node here. Now it depends like how you want to go. So if you will go for in order, you mean that you want to complete for any given node. I'll process this T1 task once all the left hand sides of those children for that particular node is complete. Why? Because its nature is like this. See you have this T function. Let's suppose I'm just putting this whole function here okay so you're calling with left here right as you can see this is very traditional way of traversing so this you are going first left and then you are doing this a task t1 so here it is just printing the value and then you are going for the right okay so i'll just simply write it here you are printing it and then you have the same function you are going right Okay, now this is your task. Let's say this is your task T1. For now, this is printing. So this is your task T1. You are saying that for any given node, so this whole thing, this whole thing is going to be applied on each and every node. So when this whole thing is going to get applied on each and every node, it will always apply this first. Meaning for every node, it has to complete first all the left. That's how it is actually recursively done. I'll tell you how this will work. See, if you're standing here, you will hit this left, right? So you will go here. Now for this also, you will hit, hit this left only because you will call yourself again and again from here only, right? So you'll go here and then you'll try to go to some null position which is not there. And then you will come back saying that because of this if here that, okay, this is null. So then you'll come back. So you came back from here to here. Now you will process it. So you came back meaning you will hit this line again. Meaning if you are going back from here, you would have reached to, I mean you would have called yourself because of this line. Now you are going back meaning this line is executed, done for that particular stack only. Okay. Now you are going to execute this one. So for this stack, one stack was created here, another one was created here and this is the third stack. So for the third stack, you are going to execute this operation. So see, you have done visiting all the left, meaning there is nothing for this for now, but conceptually you have done everything for this node, I mean the left hand side of these nodes. Now you will go to the right hand side, but there is nothing, then you will go up. So you will come back here because of this and then you will go up from here to here. Once you are back, 
see say i i told you right there is one stack another stack and this is another stack okay so these are stacks now you are going back here so on stack three executions was there right so first one is this one your left second is your task so due to first execution only you went to another stack now you are coming back so you will always hit this line only but you are coming back from here right so you will execute this one so you completed this lines code which is like completing this whole stack because now you are going back from here so this whole stack is done because this right was also done so you are done basically so you are going back that's why this t1 which is here i just shown in a very small stack lines so this middle one is your t1 task so you will execute this one now so basically you printed four and then now you are printing two so this is how you will do so you see that right now you executed two just because you are done visiting or doing whatever that t1 operation is to you the left hand side that's it and similarly now i'll not explain each and every call because it will be like so much of time waste so you would have understood if this t1 is in the beginning let's suppose if this is like this you have this left call and like this like t1 so you have this t function call here which where you are receiving this root okay and this is that's it so this is your task okay now what you are saying that exactly before visiting either left or right i will do my task meaning the moment i reach to any node i'll do this task and then only i'll go for left i mean first i'll go to the left and then i'll go to the right this is what the literal meaning of this in order is sorry pre order is and why it is pre because this task is pre meaning before all these recursion calls so it is pre that's why it is called pre order traversal so you are saying that i'll execute this task before going to the left or right and after executing my task i'll first go to left that's all, that's what also you're saying okay so i'll go to first left and then i'll go to the right that's what you're saying you can swap these two no problem but the whole idea is before going either left or right i will do my task and then i'll go and exactly you guessed it if this is in the end this is t1 so this says dude first i will complete all my left all my right children's and then only i'll do this task with myself i mean i'm talking as a node so if this is myself if this is what i'm talking about then if you are doing this then first it will complete this whole left visiting and then it will be done for the right and then only it will print itself or do the operation to itself oh this is looking like some cap right okay we have a cap here and this is a boy and we have this oh not good eyes this is the eye and this is another eye and we have nose and it is smiling like anything good so i think you understood right if you're clear about this no then it will be very easy for you to actually think about any sort of problem so i'll uh, take a very small example if this is one this is two and this is three and if it is pre order traversal then pre meaning you have this task and then left and then right okay so pre meaning it will do the task so first it will print one then it is trying to go to left then it will go here and then i just after reaching here it will execute this one and this is going to get executed in the end so this is the output for pre if you are going for post order then the output would be post is like uh, l and r and then your task okay left right and then task so first you will go left 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 but then you cannot go to the any further left then you will go, try to go to right 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 but you cannot go right and then when you are done from left and right then only you will print this so first you will print two and then you will print three and then you will print one okay and then last one is in order traversal in is like in between left task and right okay then first you will go to the left which is like from here to here then again you will try to go to left but you cannot go any further left so you will print two now and then you will try to go to right of this two but you cannot go see you will try to go to right but you cannot go so you will go back from here and once you are done with this left portion for this particular node then see you will print it so now you will print it like this two one and then you will print three okay so this is how the whole execution process would be i hope it was meaningful thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care